Green Party leader Annemi Paul failed to win her seat in Toronto Centre, prompting many to wonder what's next for the party and for its leader. Mike Morris is one of those two incoming Greens, the newly elected MP for Kitchener Centre. Mr. Morris, first of all, congratulations. Oh, just having a little trouble hearing you. So uh, I think you can hear me. So I will, I I'm just going to keep, you got him? Okay, so I'm just going to uh, note um, for everyone here that, uh, you know, you ran in 2019, you came in second place. There's a bit of a difference in 2021. The person who came first then, uh, the, the the Liberal candidate, Raj Saini, uh, the incumbent in this race, ended up dropping out of the race following allegations of unwanted sexual advances, allegations that he denies. But I wonder, when, when you look at that and you look at the other factors, what do you think resonated with voters this time around that led to your success? Yeah, can you hear me okay now? Uh, All David? good. All good, yeah. Oh, great. Yeah. So I think it was similar to last time. Yeah, I ran in 2019. We went up from, you know, three to 26 percent last time. And it was really by focusing on democracy in place of politics. And what I mean by that is when we showed up at our neighbor's doors and we knocked on every door in the riding in 2019 and sought to do was over, over 75 percent of the riding uh, this time around, rather than asking, can we count on your support? We asked, what's important to you? And we actually listened. And, you know, found there's a lot of common ground across, uh, across Kitchener Centre, whether, whether it's around the unaffordability of housing, you know, gaps in mental health supports, you know, the need to follow the science on the climate crisis. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what I, you know, I'm so excited to be going to Ottawa to do, to be a voice for my neighbours, to, to be putting community first, party second, uh, to be focused on actually being a representative for my community as opposed to all the political partisanship that a lot of folks are, are really tired of. Okay, you won your seat, which means you're going to Ottawa. Uh, your leader did not win her seat, and so does not have uh, a presence in the House of Commons. Do you think she should step down at this point? Well, I think there's a process that the party has already in, in place. And so I really appreciate that Enemy came to Kitchener in, in the days leading up to the election. But to directly answer your question, there's a leadership review that the party has already kind of planned over the coming months. And so I, I support her as leader. Uh, she's currently the leader of, of, the, of the party. And I think, you know, again, by supporting candidates like myself in the election, I really appreciated all that she did and respect that it's the members who need to come together to have that conversation and okay, reflect. But let me jump in on you, just because you're sure. one of those members and the, yes. the, the percentage of support is down, way, way down from two years ago. It looks like a significant step back for the Greens nationally, uh, not running candidates in every single riding, um, challenges with fundraising, challenges before the election with a party that looked like it was in, in disarray at, at many points in the weeks leading up to the election. Would you, you know, a lot of people think your party's in crisis. Do you think that's true? Well, I think, I think there was some turmoil in the months leading up to the election. And I spoke about that with so many of my neighbors also. I was, you know, disappointed in that. Uh, but I'm also encouraged, as you likely know, and a lot of your viewers know as well, there is a refresh on the federal council. These are the volunteers who make up the board of the of the party, and a number of uh, of, of more diverse voices uh, join that federal council uh, towards the middle of August, and that you know in doing so, I think that helped to uh, bring more unity um, in the in the party and really get back to the things we should be talking about. Mm -hmm. The reason I'm with the Greens is that they allow their MPs to have the best chance of holding on to their integrity by focusing on the actual priorities of our neighbors and not kind of this, this this side distraction. And so that's where I see the party continuing to go. That's where you look at how what Elizabeth has done over so many years. Uh, folks like Mike Schreiner with the Green Party of Ontario, the first uh, Green elected provincially, yeah. is focusing on working right across party lines to, to get progress on the things that our neighbours care about most. Okay, but Mike, when you were going door to door, you must have heard yeah. people, when you said I'm with the Green Party, say, something to the effect of, oh, I've heard lots of problems going on in your party. So if it looks like the party can't get its act together and had all this disarray, how is it that you sell that for whenever the next election is? Yeah, David, it's such a good question. I don't think it's about selling. For me, when I was speaking to neighbors like, you know, the, the example you just shared, I, I paused and I listened. I listened to their concerns. 
I was honest with them. Again, it's partly why I, I, I chose to run with the Greens, not having, you know, I'm not just a spokesperson for a political party. Uh, I see this role as being a strong representative for my community. And that includes being honest with my neighbors. And so I listened to their concerns. I, you know, honestly shared back some of mine as well. And some of my optimism uh, in that I do feel that with this refreshed federal council, uh, with a leadership review uh, coming up, that members will have a chance to have that conversation. That's an important process alongside a debrief for the party in, you know, in, you know, the what happened. And obviously, as you said, the numbers, it, it was not, you know, a great result for, for Greens across the country. While in Kitchener, of course, we um, you know, we're able to secure the trust of so many neighbors focusing on, as I said before, that, you know, that focus on actually listening and, and getting things done and doing it respectfully. Um, and, and, and that's what I think, you know, Greens have done really well right across the country. You know, Peter Bevan Baker being another example out on the East Coast, that, that respectful approach, I think, is why a lot of folks may have said, you know what, I'm concerned about what have, might have happened over past months. But, you know, that knowing that you're going to go to Ottawa and, and work in that kind of way and turn down that partisanship. And regardless of whether they're a green MP or any other color, yeah. work with all other 337 other MPs. That's what's kind of most important. Okay. You'll be one of them. Mike, congratulations. And thanks very much for the chat. Thanks again for having me again. Really a huge, huge honor. Thank you. Hi, I'm Vashi Capello's host of Power in Politics. See more of our show by subscribing to the CBC News Channel or click the link for another video.